Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Donna and Louis. Louis. Today is um, October 9th, 2014. I have an urgent message from the Lord that I need to put up. Um, I just want this to focus. Okay, first, um, I want to give you a very short and quick vision that Louis received on October 7th, and he received it around 6 p.m. Okay, um, he went to take a nap, and the um, Lord had showed him a vision that was very, very um, powerful statement. Okay, all he saw was a very tall, thin man that was holding an axe, and there was body parts and blood all over all over the place. It was all surrounding him. It was just filled with body parts. Now, um, the large man represents, I believe, the large army and a lot of body parts and blood. That means a lot of um, massacre. And I remember Lewis saying to me, he was a serial killer. A serial killer. Um, and that was basically all he saw, but I do know he needs to get this out. So, um, this morning, early this morning, right when the alarm was going off, I hit the snooze button, and today is October 9th, and it was 6.15. I saw a quick vision of the Holy Bible, and um, I'm going to back up a little. You can see what I'm saying here. Um, the Holy Bible, and it was open up on a page where it said, A heap of ruins, desolation. So, I was getting dressed, and I asked for confirmation from the Lord. I came outside, and I was given verification in prayer, and it was Jeremiah 26, 18, and it says, Micah of uh, Morseth prophesied in the days of I don't Hezekiah, Hezekiah, the king of Judah, and spoke to all the people of Judah, saying, "Thus says the Lord of hosts: Zion shall be a, a Zion shall be plowed like a field; Jerusalem shall become a heap of ruins." And the mountains of the temple, like the bare hills of the forest. Okay, so that was my first confirmation that I received from the Lord. Then I asked him again, because I don't just ask once, I ask several times. Um, so I asked the Lord, please, I'm truly looking that this word came from you. And I want to know, one, if it came from the Lord, also... Is it destruction? Is it Ebola, the plagues? Is it um, the group ISIS that's going to cause destruction? Or uh, the, f the shots that could be uh, mandatory, that could be dangerous to us? So I was looking for um, confirmation from the Lord again to making sure all this was His Word. And this is the second confirmation. And the vision and the Word are from God and it was Proverbs 35 and it says every word of God is pure he is the he is the shield to those who put their trust in him okay um, I believe this was urgent I, I had an urgent feeling in my spirit when I woke up this morning I believe oh thank you Heavenly Father I, f I feel his holy presence. Um, thank you. All my praise and glory goes to the most holy King, Abba Father, Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you for saving me, and I thank you for the blessings that you have given us. And thank you for choosing me to be able to speak forth your words and helping me speak you clearly to your children. All my praise and honor goes to you. Okay. Um, I truly believe and and agree. Um, I did see a video last night of um, 
by his grace channel, Annie and the Lord was speaking about the children of God. We need to rise up. Christians, we need to start rising up and standing up for the word of God. We need to stand up and our values, God's values, God's laws needs to be obeyed. And if not, we will, we will be held accountable. His judgment is coming on this earth, and we need to turn away from our sins and come back to the Lord God. Wow, Holy Spirit, I feel you so strong. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, please, every message that I receive, please do not, like I always say, do not take my word for it. You take this right to the Lord. You pray on it and look for discernment. Okay, please, God, uh, God. Have mercy on your children. Forgive them for they for their inequities. <clears throat> and we need to pray for the children. The children's well being, the innocent. Okay, I have to get to work, guys. Sorry, it was a little crooked. Um God bless you all. Please seek discernment and like God said here. Every word of God is pure. He is the shield to those who put their trust in Him. And that is a strong statement. We need to start trusting God and have faith and stand up and rise up for our Lord. Like, like Annie said, and it was so profound. But the shield of protection on. The shield of protection. We have to fight good with evil. The armor of God. Yes, the armor of God. God bless you all. Have a good day.